is, but what people don't understand about Country Wayne is the fact that his work ethic is so like he literally could chill. The dude's a millionaire, yeah. right? And I ain't talking about a millionaire that people are talking about. I'm talking about that I've seen. Right. Right. People Heavy. say they got it all the time, right? So when I see a man like that working so hard and they really can kick back, that's gonna transcend into your team because everybody mm -hmm. knows if, if you work is just as hard, your day is coming too. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Man, you know, when I had Mike on there last time, he, he was one of those guys that basically um, was acting, you know, before as well. And you guys got a hell of a team, you know, the way you guys do the Country Wayne uh, skits with him. And then you do your own thing, you know, right. individually. And I don't think people understand how powerful it is that you have your own individuality within also doing that with him. Right. I think that's dope, man. Oh, it's super dope. And the fact that Country Wayne encouraged that, you know, hey, go out here. You got what you got with me, but go out, build your own. And at first, you know, I was like, no, nah, man, you know what I'm saying? Just, you, you know, I was wanting him just to put me in everything. But he's like, no, you're not going to respect that as much as if you go out there. You know, we didn't talk about it. And he was like, yeah, go ahead and do it. He said, no, right now it seems like it's hard, but you're going to appreciate it more if you build it on your own. And then being able to link with Mike Bless, which Mike Bless has got a heart of gold. Like he's he's encouraging you to but he said mm -hmm. the same thing that you said. He'd never seen me perform right. stand up. So he pulled me after the first show he seen. Mm -hmm. He's like, bro, he said, nah, I don't see you in your skits. And he said, the skits is good. But he's like, this stand up, bro? Yeah. He's like, boy, I never expected that. He said, I'm not yeah. going to lie. I never expected you that yeah. you were going to be that good. Yeah. Man, he definitely, uh, he, he definitely uh, spoke. Uh, highly, you know, of you when he was here, and just yo the way that you commit to com comedy, the way that you, you know what I mean, you give your all, and I thought that was dope that he recognized that in you. He like, oh yeah, that's another thing. That was another thing. Jordan is committed to comedy, mm -hmm. very much so, and he one of the people that's like, I'm gonna figure this out. You know, you look at him like, oh, he's high, high, but he's very competitive. He don't play with that kind. He's serious. His life, he put everything into it. And I thought that was loud. I'm like, man, for him to even notice that. Oh, yeah. Come and on, it's man. important. It's important that people uh, believe in you as much as you believe in yourself. Because there's a lot of comedians um, that were telling Country Wayne when he put me on. A lot of them like, oh, man, we know dudes that are funnier than him. We know, why would you use him? First show, I went out there, bomb. That's what he said. That's what he <laughs> said, right? right? When he first started doing a comedy thing in Atlanta, people weren't taken to him. And Wayne was like, you funny. <laughs> this man got booed off the stage. Mm. He said, man, bro, when Wayne, he said, when I got booed off the stage and I bombed, well, I don't think he got booed, I don't think he got booed off, he got bombed, he, he bombed. He said, man, when I bombed, bro, I had I walked backwards to get my check from Wayne. I knew I wasn't gonna see him again. Yeah, I'm talking about bomb bomb. I'm talking you about didn't think he was coming back. back. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm fired like fuck. <laughs> and then uh, you know, so you know, I didn't even look at him. When I went to get my check. I was just like, all right, man, I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, we got some more shows in Memphis. So I'm like, we do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm for sure. I thought was a show thinking I'm gone. We go to Memphis. He's like, listen, yeah. man, tell these people, tell these people that I'm the one who put you on, man. I take my testimony in the beginning, you know what I'm saying, until I'm so happy and, and just uh, uh, that somebody believed in me and gave me an opportunity. And from then on, the bomb was over with. It was just a learning and process. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. A lot of y'all laughing, and I ain't even said a word yet. <laughs> I've been having some strange things that have been happening to me lately, though. People been walking up to me and just start singing the theme song from Good Time. <laughs> but what people don't understand about Country Wayne is the fact that his work ethic is so big. Like he literally could chill. The dude's a millionaire. Yeah. Right. And I ain't talking about a millionaire that people talking about. I'm talking about that I've seen. Right. Right. People Heavy. say they got it all the Heavy. time. Mm -hmm. Right. So when I see a man like that working so hard and they really can kick back, that's going to transcend into your team because everybody mm -hmm. knows if, if you work is just as hard, your day is coming too. Definitely. Right. Put in that work. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.